Hey you guys, in today's video I want to show you how to install new RAM or upgrade the RAM that you have in your iMac. This works for the bigger iMacs, the ones with the RAM port in the back. The, the ones with smaller screens, it's hard to get at the RAM. I've done the research and you run the risk of even breaking the screen or, or not having your iMac work anymore. First you need to find out what model iMac you have. You can go to the Apple menu and say about this Mac. I'm replacing the RAM on my 27 inch late 2014 iMac. It was working fine and then suddenly one day it said that I had no RAM installed. Uh, I have a sneaky suspicion of who it was, but that's maybe a video for another day. When you click memory, it will tell you what RAM modules to get. Uh, usually there's a, available four spots, but uh, sometimes it only accepts two modules. If you're not sure, check uh, Apple's website. There's a great page called Install Memory on an iMac. Whatever that one says, order that type on Amazon or wherever you like to get computer components. Mine was $126.99 from ATEC on Amazon. Don't get more than it can handle or don't get the wrong type. Uh, like DDR3 RAM versus DDR4. Pay attention to that. Once you have your RAM modules, power down your Mac, unplug everything, and then gently lay your iMac screen side down. Next, with a skinny pusher tool, like a pen or a spoon handle or something, I just used a plastic spoon, uh, press the button for the cover release and the cover should pop right off. Next, unlock the tabs on the sides and the RAM tray should lift up. Grab one stick of RAM, taking note of where the notch is cut out. Gently push it straight in until it firmly sets into the slot. Do that for each stick of RAM, making sure each stick is in snugly. Close the RAM tray back into place and set the tabs on either side. Pop the cover back on, plug everything back in and power up your iMac again. It should take about 30 seconds for your iMac to sort of get to its senses. And then it will allow you to log in and you're back to normal. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with a friend that might need it. See you next time.